What's up guys, it's System1111. I've got a uh, Diana ranked win today. And she's one of my best mid laners, probably my third best. And yeah, I've always really liked her. I unlocked her pretty early on. And uh, she was always fairly easy to use. Um, doing her uh, ult twice is pretty easy, you just have to lead with your Q, and yeah, she's uh, she can be tanky, and have a lot of attack power, so yeah, she's pretty good. So we've got Draven bot with Yumi, Darius top. And volley bear on jungle. Honor, death, and hangovers. And Yasuo is probably my worst opponent mid lane. He's just always so annoying. And typically, people that play like Yasuo are already pretty good with him. And he can just steamroll and just become unstoppable, so he's very annoying. <laughs> so he went and backed for something, I don't know what, but he forgot something. He ends up getting like 33, um, 30 CS up on me just by an insane amount. But it's better to have that than for him to feed and just give him kills over and over. Like, I'd rather let him have the CS than make him, you know, just unstoppable, so. I'll play Yasuo defensively or passively, you know. He's just so hard to stay toe to toe with, so. Oof, missing all that CS. Yikes. But I'm already nervous, because I mean, he's just a beast, so annoying. And typically when I do really poorly, it's whenever I play too aggressively and feed, and then there's like no coming back really. So, on this game I was being very cautious. So Draven is, um, I was glad to have Draven as our ADC. He is such a beast, so in my opinion, Draven is the best ADC in the game. And he's he's the hardest ADC to use, however. So what he's doing right there, you can see both of his axes are spinning. When they are spinning, they do more damage. And the way to keep them spinning, like it just constantly refreshes um, the, the ability if you can just catch his blades as they land. So that's kind of hard to do while you're fighting, but the easy thing about it is that it shows you with a target on the ground where they're going to land. So you just have to be on that target when it lands and you'll catch it. So... Um, nothing too crazy there. But so, but... so the way to control where the target lands is... As the blade's coming back to you, you have to start walking in a direction. So you see right there, you started walking down. And the target will land wherever the direction is you're walking, slightly in front of that. So you can control where they land as long as you can walk and, you know, attack at the same time. It's called auto-walking. And it's really hard to do. 
But yeah, see, he, all he has to do is land, just be standing on the target, and he'll catch it. And to control where it, the target lands, just start walking in a direction as the blade is coming back to you, and that's where the target will be. It's like... And you'll be able to predict predict where that target lands. Otherwise, it ran it randomly just appears on the ground. So anyway, let's see here. So I'm not sure if I started playing Diana after I watched someone dominate with her, but the best play I've ever seen in a game of League of my own was from a Diana player. They were basically at like 5 health, and they had two people right on top of them. So all they had to do was just auto attack or just brush her, just just lightly tap her and she would have died. And they had a good 10 seconds to do this. And, and she lived every time. So basically she avoided death three times in a row. Um, the first time she straight up just juked the attack. The second time she zonias, and then when she came out of it, juked. And then the third one, she just had outrun them and made it to uh, close to a creep wave, and she teleported to him with her ult. But yeah, ba like they had a good 10 seconds to kill her. I mean, she just timed the um, the, uh, the the dashes and the jukes just perfectly. And yeah, she lived after all that. It was it was very impressive. Okay, Vi coming in through the jungle here. She's trying to gank. Uh oh. Get that ult in there. And. Oh, do I live? Okay. Oh, yeah. So I lived through that. Amazing. Okay. Well, they got Yasuo, so that's all that matters. Let's, let's follow Draven for a minute. He's, he's always a treat. I like his skin as well. That costume on Draven is pretty sweet. So he's really good. Like, he can... The hardest thing about auto-walking is attacking the player, catching the blade, and avoiding getting hit yourself. So he's just timing everything just beautifully. Oh. I can't play Draven like that. No way. Yeah, this one was really good. So yeah, he's, he starts walking down, and the target appears right there, right in front of where he's walking. It's like, so you have to start walking that direction, like, as the blade hits the target, and probably just before it starts coming back to you. So yeah, just as soon as you auto attack with it, just start walking in a direction where you want the target to land. Okay, Volley Bear coming up for a gank, maybe. Yeah. 
So Yumi is a weird character as well. Well, just... She attaches to the character she's supporting with a move, I'm assuming. And she loses control of the character. Like, she's just attached to Draven right there. Oops. Um... And she can't be targeted by enemy, by uh, opponents, but she can be targeted by towers. So yeah, it's it's pretty, pretty weird. Probably pretty boring because you're never even controlling her, and she can unattach herself when she wants. But still, it's uh, I would not play Yumi. It seems too boring. So why does Yasuo make a good roommate? Because he always has a key. Look at that. So Yasuo is so fast, as you can see, um, because his E lets him... It, there's no cooldown on it, so he just has to target a minion that he hasn't hit with that move within the last 10 seconds, I think. So... As long as he's targeting a new minion, he can just target the next one and the next one, and he literally just glides through them like that, just dashing. And so he can he can be up on you in a matter of seconds. So that's why you ha that's why I can never play him aggressively because he's just so fast. Like he's the Juggernaut of League of Legends, basically the Dota 2 character Juggernaut. Yeah, ba he's basically Yasuo. So. Um, or Genji, if you play Overwatch, I would um, match or equate Yasuo to Genji. Let's see. Looks like they're trying to gank down here. Big plays, get him. Get him, yes. Oh, that was worth it. Uh-oh. Oh, Draven going down. Ooh. He would have died if he had gotten hit by that snare. Oh man, that was close. So yeah, the way to maximize Diana's damage on her ult is that you lead with her Q. So the Q is that little arc of sun, uh, moonlight, and it hits them, and then it puts that moonlight on them for like eight seconds or something. So if you ult to them and teleport and while damaging them, while the moonlight is on them, your ult resets. So you can cast it again immediately after you hit him with the first one. So that's why you move, lead with that move that I just did. And then if I had my ult wanted to, I would ult to him. And then it would just be up again and I could use it, you know, immediately afterwards or do a couple other things and then do it again. So yeah, that's why you have to, if you can, hit them with that arc of uh, moonlight and then hit him with your ult. Oof. Look at that's ridiculous. He just he's just dashing through the minions. That's that's insane. Oh get Wrecked. <laughs> Get her. Well, what is this? Just 
Well, there's Draven's ult. That those saw blades, or I mean his his, his blades. He flings them from across the map, and they literally go all the way across, damaging stuff and back. They damage stuff on the way back as well, so it's... He can kill you with them going forwards or back, and uh, it's very frustrating when he hits you when you die as they're coming back to him. There's Yasuo up top being annoying. Yasuo was probably their MVP, and Draven was definitely our uh, MVP for sure. So. And... Not oh, looking good. Oh. oh boy. Yeah! Darius, Darius going in on these guys. What a crazy man. Look at this Darius. Whoa! Oh! What? Oh! He almost got yes. Well, that was that was a good effort by Darius. Jeez. I missed with his ult there. Teleport animation. So, at one point they lose Lulu, but I feel like we secured the win before they started losing her. So, here comes Draven. League of Draven. Uh oh. It's popping off. He's got both blades swinging. He's on a mission. Oh, here comes four of them. Jesus, or is that all five? My goodness. Yeah, get you, Mead. Oh, she's zoning as my alter. Oof. Almost died. Yep, here we go. Draven, Draven. Oh yeah. Oh, that save. Yes, it saved her for sure. So here we have Draven and Yasuo squaring off. So that he basically baited. Yasuo right there. That was that was amazing. He wanted to come out to the dragon so the dragon could wail on him. That was amazing. Here comes Darius getting the top tower. Darius' best move is uh, his axe when he swings it around in a circle. He actually damages stuff and heals at the same time. So, oof. Um. If you're in a team fight and you're both tied with health, you know, he can swing at you with that and close the gap, like, be healed and damage you and, you know, make the di making the difference. So that, that move is, is really good. Okay. My mid tower is still good. They're missing their bot, and we're missing our top tower. Let's see. And they're all coming up mid, so. Uh-oh. Ooh! Oh, yeah, okay. Ulted.
Oh, hit the creep instead. Lulu, what is she doing? What is their Lulu doing? Farming? What? What is this Lulu doing? Uh, <laughs> okay. Here comes the ass. Bound to be annoying. Oh, man. Ooh! Get him! Yeah, Zonia's. Oh, smooth. Okay. And cued. Oh. Oh, what? I didn't finish the tower. Look at that. Come on. Well, that's annoying. The tower's almost dead. What's going on? What is going on over here? I still haven't backed yet? What? Okay, so... Yasuo has 7, and our Draven has 10. But I'm at 82 CS, and Yasuo is at 118, so he got up 40 CS on me, but... Like I said... I didn't feed, and that's definitely worse, so, I mean, I'll, I'll take a lower CS count as long as Yasuo doesn't have 15 kills. Oh, snap. Get him. Oh, look out. Get him. Oh, hey, he got two people. Nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that Deanna play. Yes. Ooh. That's right. Double kill. Ace. <laughs> yeah. Four um, kills, and then we had we killed their whole team. I'll take that, and we got their mid tower. I'll take that. What? Oh, he's doing the running man. What? Okay, they're all mid. Ooh! Okay, Draven resurrecting from... What is that item that does that? Angel something or other? Oh! Okay, I'm dead. Alright, worth. Five kills to their three. I'll take that. So they're done. Like, it's 35 to 22. They're not coming back for sure. And they're losing their support. Lulu keeps going in and out. So, yeah, it was a done deal by this point. Draven doing. Let's follow him. He, he usually does 
something amazing. Swords are spinning. Uh oh. Warding Baron. They're all top. We're looking or something. Vi is going to get seen by Draven. Draven kind of looks like uh, the Giver in that suit. If that blade was just attached to his elbow, he'd be like, he'd basically be the Giver, right? Oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Draven getting in. Oh, come on. Get him. Avenge me! <laughs> nice! So yeah, you can see there the drastic increase in Draven, uh, Darius's health. After he swung on that, that person, killing them, he also healed for pretty good chunk, so... That move is just brutal. And so has their will to continue. So has their hope and promise of winning absolutely destroyed. <laughs> so this is over in like another Oh, this is this is almost over. Oh, wait, what? Oh yeah, we fight again. Oh man! They lost like so much health. What? Oh! Well, they can't baron it anymore, so this is where they can see. GG. And defeat. So, yeah, that was a fun game. Uh, Diana is my third best mid laner. Amazing character. Highly recommended. Um. Our MVP was Draven with 15 kills, and to Yasuo it was 10. So he wasn't far off, but yeah, Draven was just dominating. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe for more League of Legends content, and follow me on Twitch TV forward slash System 1111. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.